Hi everyone, welcome to the first section, section zero. We're gonna actually talk about uh, what this course is about and then what is data mining? Why should you learn data mining? And then course requirements and how to install uh, necessary packages. So first of all, this course is uh, about data mining, data science, and we're gonna talk about the basics, the backbone of data mining, meaning we're gonna actually talk about how to cleanse the data how to do some initial descriptive analysis, how to do some visualizations, do some plotting, and then look at different stats, and how to do some statistical analysis, and how to create uh, models, predictive models, and how to evaluate the models, and how to um, use the models right, to make the predictions. And then what is uh, data mining? Right. So under the hood, data mining is about drawing useful information and, and useful, actionable insights from your data. Needless to say, right, whoever owns the data owns the future. But owning the data is not good enough. So you'll need to really know how to leverage data, how to draw useful insights from the data, right? How to look at the statistics, how to find out the patterns, right, using your data set. So that's why you need to learn, right? You want to learn data science or data mining. It's really empowering in a way that it will give you a lot of competitive advantages, right? In terms of uh, as a company, as an individual, right? You will need to know, uh, I think everyone needs to know, right? How to actually do basic visualizations with data, as well as creating something that will be able to help you uh, predict in the future. And then course requirements, right? So pretty much you want to have a computer. <laughs> um, so we'll have a computer. So you need to have a computer. I mean, you can use Mac or Windows, right? So first of all, get Anaconda. So Anaconda is a manager, right? Like library manager or package manager. So it manages all the libraries or packages that we're going to install. You will need to go to, into Anaconda's website. And then this is where you can download from here. And then you can get either 3.6 or 2.7. I will say either way. I use 2.7, but 3.6 is uh, is better. So definitely use that. And then um, you can actually, if it's Mac, then you'll get the Mac. And then if you use Windows, then go to Windows and download. This is very easy to download. So Anaconda is pretty much think of as a library manager that you know once you get all these libraries in Python, right? Um, Anaconda is going to allow you to install a new library very easily, seamlessly, and also manage them, maintain them, right? And then once you get this, go here, right? I embedded the link in my video, uh, in my notebook as well, but go to just the main page of Jupyter, uh, Jupyter.org and backslash install. And then you can see, you can pimp install it. Pimp is another way of like, installing all these libraries, but the easiest way is really just conda install, right? Conda install, and then you need to type in Jupyter, Jupyter, right? That's it. I think it's very easy to install. And then how do you launch this Jupyter notebook, right? I mean, I'm sure like once you install everything, you can just go to the terminal again. So I have it open here, uh, but yeah, you can just open another one, just call it IPython notebook or Jupyter notebook, either way, right? I would just do IPython notebook. So this will launch, will, will, will kickstart a new session of Jupyter and then it is going to, um, it is going to open up a new page in your browser like here, right? You can see it's gonna open, there's a local host and then you can start working on it. So say I click on what I had before was, um, so this is a folder and another folder. You can actually create a new notebook like this, right? Go to here, new and Python 2 or Python 3. And this is how you can start a notebook. And I already have one here. You can see the file extension is IPYNB. It's in here. And then you can see this is how I was having my um, notebook, right? You can see a bunch of things in here. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, and then I look forward to the next section. Thank you.